It is time. It's time for the lightning round. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready? Ski that time for the lightning round. Let's start with Robert in California. Robert. Oh yeah, Jimmy Chill. How's it going, man? I am doing well. How about you? I'm good, man. I'm ready to travel. I'm ready to come back to New York. I don't blame you. Me too. Yeah, hey, uh, I'm calling about Sun Over Energy. Uh, it's tough been going stock, down. Tough stock days. because all the solar stocks are going down because after declining in price over and over and over, they finally started going up in price, and that is making them to be less competitive. I say I have to stay away from Sun Over. Let's go to Brandon in Brandon in Virginia. Brandon. Hey, Jim. Brandon, how are you? All right, how are you? I'm very good. My question is about Alibaba Group. Take yeah, this stock has come down a lot, Alibaba, and I do like it here very much. I think you should buy it and put it away. Let's go to Luis in North Carolina. Luis. Hey, Jim, it's Luis. Uh, how are you doing, my I friend? I am doing well. How about you? I'm doing great. Listen, I've been looking for something in the copper because I missed a huge move in my portfolio. Okay. And I am a stock guy, not an ETF. So I found this powerhouse, sir. Has copper, but has zinc, has potash, has ore, has aluminum, iron, and guess what? Throw in some oil and gas plus a wonderful safe dividend of 4%. What do you say? My stock is BHP. I like BHP. Of course, I remember the old Broken Hill Properties. I think you've got a good one. That's a great idea. It's a nice mosaic of what is working right now. Molly in New York. Molly. Hey, Kramer. Long time watcher, first time caller. Um, because of you, I've been interested in investing, so thank you for all you do oh, for the Oh, that's fun terrific. Gamers. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I joined this um, investment group, the Bates Group. We're like an amateur club, <laughs> and we have been talking about Virtue Financial, V-I-R-T. What I like it. It's a well ver- Look, we know people from it. It's a very good financial company. I think it should, not- it should be tra- selling at a higher price than it has. It's very low price earnings multiple. I'd be a buyer of it. I think you're in good shape, and thank you for the kind comments. Let's go to Bill in South Carolina. Bill! Booyah, Jim. How are you doing? Well, I don't know. I got some sort of allergy thing. It's really knocking me out. How about you? Uh, well, uh, no allergies here, thankfully. All but, right. Uh, first, I want to thank... I'm an Action Alerts uh, Plus member first. Oh, and, excellent. Uh, thank you. Well, I, well, I want to thank you for all you do in the area of financial oh. literacy. Uh, Doing my best to educate. Doing my best. Thank you. What's so, up? So my, my question is about JD.com. Yeah, this so, stock has been very weak. And, you know, a lot of people do not like the Chinese stocks right now. JD is almost as good as Alibaba. I think it is worth holding. But understand the trade war. Understand the temper of times. has not been to invest in the PRC. But that one's a good one, too. Brett in North Carolina. Brett. Hi, Jim. It is a privilege and an honor to speak with you today. Oh, thank you. And I want to thank, thank you. you so much for taking my call. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, I would like your uh, thoughts on BJ's Wholesale Club. BJ's, why not wait till Thursday when Costco reports? Because if, 